All right, it's recording. <clears throat> so what's up, everyone? I'm back with my man, David, over here. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. First of all, we just kind of made this off the cuff. Like, literally this morning, I was like, hey, man. So I'm interviewing slash being interviewed by Dave Superpowers. I'm trying to test out this whole Zoom thing right now. And I want to see how recording would go for that and everything. And so, can you be my test run? Because I only have the information, you know? And he said, sure. And so I'm like, well, if we're going to uh, talk for at least 40 minutes, just to make sure that it doesn't cut me off at 40 minutes for the free version or anything else, like any type of the kinks I might have to work out for day hours before we start hours, then now we know. Um, we should at least talk about something good. So we just got on. We kind of like, brainstormed just a little bit so there's gonna be like a free form conversation but we're gonna start addressing a lot of like controversial opinions um and just just our thoughts on things in general um so like again like i said this is my man's david uh awesome dude y'all should probably already know him from like previous uh videos he's infj um he's an artist he's on instagram at, at in david u-a-l-l -L, so individual um also the same thing on twitter so yeah we're gonna go back and forth with these controversial thoughts and if anything comes off the cuff you know let's just get it popping and by the way last disclaimer we are both christians but there will probably probably be some thoughts where we'll be like hey this is our christian perspective and this is our perspective speaking from a non-Christian standpoint. Um, and hopefully that's not offensive to anyone, but, you know, just just giving out thoughts and perspectives, all right? Do you have anything else to say? Now you covered everything. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so <laughs> jumping right in. <laughs> what is your opinion <laughs> on the N-word? I am Not addicted. Even just nigger, but nigga. <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> there's a difference, I think. I would say, like most people, like most black people, I can't stop using it. Actually, no, most people, because I know that people of different ethnic backgrounds definitely be saying it um, whenever they want to. And they probably say it a lot, too. Uh, I think part of the allure of the word <clears throat> just comes from <laughs> its usage, mostly. Like, uh, I think it's a little, it's like if, the, if you were to rank some words, right? Hmm. Uh, how do I say this without sounding corny? <laughs> I guess there really is no way to say it without sounding corny, but mother effer is like a very uh it's, it's a commonly used word i think samuel jackson really made it popular <laughs> but like if you were to look at that word right yeah i feel like and the n-word is just one step above from it you know what i mean like it's like it has this allure that kind of like adds it's like it's like parsley on a good meal. <laughs> People always, like chefs always love to add like that, that one, or the cilantro, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, they always, <laughs> I think it's just like, it adds that or to whatever you're saying. And we can talk all day about like its historical implications. That's already been talked about so many different times. I just feel like it's not going anywhere. Right? Mm -hmm. I genuinely don't think it will. Like, I don't think it's like one of those things where if we stop saying it, then it's just going to die down. It has, I feel like the word just has too much power. It has too much, it's too seductive to use in sentences and in regular dialogue for it to ever really truly go away. Like, for some reason, whenever we use different words like um, fleek or, I don't know, stuff like that, they don't have staying power. However, this word has literally been around for so long, you could say it a billion times in a, in a song and not get tired of saying it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it, it's one of those things where, like, it's not really going to go anywhere. So 
I feel like we might as well get used to it. We can't even control whether or not other people say it. So even if we stop saying it, it's not going to change the fact whether or not like other people say it as well. You know what I mean? So it's like there's a lot of controversy around the world word whether or not we should even say it. But I think that should be left for up left for black people to figure out for the next few years because it's been used against us for so long. Mm-hmm. I think we should be able to have the exclusive right to be able to use it ourselves and figure mm-hmm. out whether or not we actually want to keep it or not without other people of other races and such like that butting in or even have to worry worry about whether or not they're saying it. Got you. So you are against the idea of like people who are not black saying the enemy. I definitely am, but I'm also not naive enough to believe that they're going to say it regardless. Like, people yeah. are going to do whatever they want, you know what I mean? Got you. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, I... <clears throat> okay, well, actually, before I get into that, then the last thing, um, how do you feel then about them saying it when they are uh, quoting rap verses and stuff, you know? I feel like... And then... And then do you think that should mean that artists should just avoid saying the N-word in their music? That's my thing, though. Because <laughs> my, to a certain extent, I understand why people would say artists shouldn't say it. However, you can't limit their freedom of expression. You know what I mean? Like, you can't tell them, well, you, if you don't want me saying it, then you shouldn't say it. Like, you're in control of your own actions. You know exactly what you're saying when you're saying it. You should not hold somebody else responsible for the thing that you choose to do. That's one. Number two, yes, we all, I feel like we can mostly agree that, like, by hearing it in a song, you can be entranced and you might slip up. Fine. Okay, you might slip up. I still feel like we, as adults, at least, have full motor skills to be able to control whether or not we're about to say a word, whether or not we we are like, you can't be so entrenched in a song that you completely forget to say a whole word that you <laughs> probably shouldn't say. You know what I mean? Right. And if you're a kid, I feel like that's different territory because then that goes into whether or not the child is actually, like, mature mm. and, like, can actually be able to comprehend the history of certain things as opposed to someone who's an actual adult. Um, and that differs across, like, uh, different age groups and stuff like that and that's a whole different conversation but i think artists should be able to control whether or not they want to say it because to limit them in their own expression it 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 defeats the purpose of making music it defeats the purpose of being able to say whatever i want in the best way that i know how to say it only for you to tell me okay but don't say this and don't say that and don't say this and don't say like it what's the purpose then it's no longer expression it's mm-hmm. just now like i have to tiptoe around the things that i actually want to do in which uh, they, i feel like a lot of artists who actually gain a lot of success already feel like they have to do in their regular lives in order to maintain their status because they can't actually like be a public speaker they can't often say whatever they want without getting backlash for it. Mm -hmm. So in a song is probably where they most feel like they can actually be able to express themselves on multiple levels. So for you to tell black people, okay, but don't say that if you don't want me to say it. It's like, what are you talking about? (laughs) That doesn't make any sense if you really Mm -hmm. think about it. Mm -hmm. Um, If other black people are saying black people shouldn't say it, that's a whole different like discussion. Yeah, Because to me, that's like saying, women shouldn't say the B word to each other. <laughs> yeah. We ha- actually- I as a man, no. <laughs> like, I, I, have, I as a man have no right to be able to say what women say to each other. I don't think that they should, but I'm also not going to tell them that they should. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, can, I can have, that ent- I'm entitled to that opinion. That right. doesn't mean I should share it or enforce it. You know what right. I mean? Like, I'll yeah. do what y'all want. Yeah. yeah. No, I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, cool. I think that we kind of are on the same boat. Like for me, I definitely disagree personally with um, people who are not black, it's like white people, especially, of course, um, using the N word. Um, because in my opinion, 
it's like so one of my one of my uh white friends he had said like oh you know like hey so i have a sincere question you know i grew up in a black family you know like and i'm like i'm like cool with black people because he was adopted um he's like yeah and i'm cool with black people and stuff like that and he is like he's down and everything um and he said so i pretty much like feel black um <laughs> What does that mean, first of all? But continue. <laughs> right. Uh, so he was telling me this, you know, and then he was asking, what is my opinion on him being able to say the N-word and stuff like that? And I said, to be honest, it was just one of the first analogies that came to mind. So don't, don't, all of y'all watching, like, don't play with this. Don't read too deep into it, because what you think I'm saying is not what I'm actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Here we go <laughs> right disclaimer <laughs> uh <laughs> i told him that I, I think that when tarzan was adopted into the gorilla family <laughs> it was a <laughs> <laughs> bear with me jeez <laughs> okay when tarzan <laughs> was adopted into the gorilla family then he he became a part of them yeah like he he was with them all that whatever you know like and he he was family with them but at the end of the day when jane and clayton and all of them came they still saw the gorillas and tarzan as separate enough to where even though they kidnapped tarzan or whatever they put him in a separate cage he was still special he wasn't a gorilla. Like, point blank, he was raised with gorillas, spoke gorilla, all of that. But just at the end of the story, he wasn't a gorilla. And because he wasn't a gorilla, then he was still treated better than the gorillas were treated um, by the people who identified more with him. And so that, doesn't, that, that has nothing to do with Tarzan as a person, but just the simple fact that, I'm sorry, your race, is human their race is gorilla and so at the end of the day you know i would prefer that you don't you know I, yeah it just it is what it is so in the same sense i pretty much explained to him that like if god forbid times reversed and we went back to like slavery times and all that somehow or like kkk came after us in that moment whatever at the end of the day, he's going to be treated special, whether he wants to be treated special or not. He's not going to be identified. He's going to be identified with them. It doesn't matter if he grew up with them, with, with white people or whatever. If he's cool, it doesn't matter. Like his skin tone, his, his skin complexion, his, his race uh, or ethnicity, I should say, is still going to be white. And that doesn't mean that I have a problem with him at all. But that still would mean that I personally would have a problem with him using the N-word. Now, I <laughs> believe also personally that I just also would not use the N-word around him and other white people. That's my, that's my thing because then it's like, it's almost like that artist thing, which again, I think that I agree with you on that. But for me, it's like, okay, if like, if I'm around like, all of my black friends and everything, we are all family kind of thing. You know, hey, if, if KKK come here, they come after all of us. It don't matter if I call you that or if you call me that. <laughs> then, you know, okay. even then I don't use the word excessively, maybe like twice a week, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by excessive, but like I'm not someone who uses that frequently, but like, you know, like if I'm joking around with you, Maybe please, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> more like that, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. if I'm around like people, even if I'm around mostly black people, but there's like a couple of white people there, I will avoid using that word because I don't. To me, it seems like I'm dangling it in their face, like, oh yeah, you can't say this word, kind of thing. And I don't know that. Like I said, like that's just me. That's how I see it. Um, but yeah, I I had talked to one of my friends about it. Um, and he said, <laughs> he kind of said the same thing that you were saying, like, 
um, if people, if like white people are telling me like not to say that word, like uh uh-uh, like we're all a family. That's like you telling (laughs) me uh, to not beat my child or something like that. Like, oh, mind your business. This is my son. (laughs) 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 You you can't forbid me from doing that. And I also understood from the perspective that for white people, when they used it back in the day, especially with the, you know, whole nuance or caveat of ER at the end versus A at the end, where for those of you who don't know, um, ER is like, so saying like nigger is actually like an offensive term, all of that, that, you know, like white people, slave owners and stuff you see back in the day. And now we've like made it more, you know, urban or whatever. We've kind of made it some more slangs where it's like nigga with the A, that more of like, oh, you, what's up, bro? What's up, sis? Like my homie, my my fellow black friend, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, but it's still, it's also a way of us reclaiming um, our uh, power of that word because that word was used so badly in the past by white people than the way that many black people, not all of them, because a lot of black people believe that we shouldn't use it, period. But a lot of black people also feel like, no, like I feel like I have to redeem the power from this by being capable of only using it in a happy, you know, camaraderie type of way. And if a white person tries to use it in this way, that's infringing upon me trying to uh, reclaim this title. So this is just one word, why can't you guys just avoid saying it? Like, it's, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, with maybe the exception of, like, lyrics and stuff, which, again, I would personally hope that they would blank it out. If I can blank out cuss words, like, I rap whole Eminem verses and I would not say the cuss <laughs> word. <laughs> so if I can do that, then I feel like you should be able to control yourself <laughs> from saying the N-word. Now, I can't enforce it. You know, I can't, like, police you if you're in your car and you just happen to say it by yourself, whatever. I can't <laughs> Are like hey, but <laughs> my preference, like I would like to, if in a perfect world, I would like for the person, the people, not to say that. Oh, and then my last, my last, last, last thought on that is kind of like so you said, like with the B word, like yeah, like some some gay people, I see them call it mm-hmm. see them call each other like faggot and the B word and stuff like that. I could never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show up, <laughs> you faggot, bro. <laughs> like you know, I'm I'm just not one of them, so I can't. Mm-hmm. It's, it's different, you know. I'm just like mm-hmm. like when you when when girls call each other the b word, I can't do that, you know, because like that's 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 y'all's language. Y'all have that understanding, and just like what David said, like, I can't force you to stop saying that word. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, yeah. So that's that's my thoughts on that. That's my thoughts on that. I feel like if um, I have so many different thoughts on that, okay. but I think, oh man, I so where do I start? Give me a second. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to cut this part just so like <laughs> I can get my thoughts around it. I think. So then. What are your thoughts on Latinos using the word? Bar, I'm, I'm, and, and what I specifically mean are like white passing or light skinned Latinos, because there are definitely Afro Latinos, and we could say, okay, they're black, so they, they can use the word. However, there are also many white passing or racially ambiguous Latinos who also may feel like, well, because I have some black in my family or there's some black in my lineage and I'm already in the same like communities as black people, I don't see why there should be any reason as to why I can't say it. Or let's say um, like South, Southeast Asians, you know, like Indians, Bengalis, and stuff like that, people who also grew up in the hood, right? Yeah. What's to say that they can't also say it because they have been, like, they have been oppressed in certain ways, and they grew up, some of them grew up in the same communities as us, and they are 
they literally call themselves brown people. You know, well, some of them do. You know what I mean? So, like, what to say that they can't also say that they have been oppressed? Obviously, they haven't been through slavery. But we can't say that. Some of them might have been. Like, in the, um, like, as for, like, Latinos and stuff like that, there were definitely slave plantations in the Caribbean and stuff like that. But as for the others, it's a little bit, like, what, do you, what would you say to that? That's, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's all. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. For example, prime example, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Six Nine says it all the time in his songs. Literally all the time. And, and he says it boldly. He says it with his chest. Yeah. <laughs> he says it with, <laughs> he says it all the time. Is he, as a non-black person, like he's still a person of color, but as a non-black person, is he allowed to say the word nigga? Like, you could say like he grew up in the communities of black people mm. and he has been oppressed in certain ways or he can relate to a cer- certain struggles. You might even be able to say, like, some, like, what if he did have black in his lineage? Like, would that qualify him? Like, what is a qualifier for somebody being able to say the N-word? Man. Yeah. I'm like, uh, <laughs> like I'm literally looking at, I'm looking at him right now. Like, because I had to look Does he at, have to look black? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see this is where it gets that this is where it gets a little bit muddy because there be some no joke that i look at and i'm like i'm like mm. <laughs> and i like they say it and i'm like thinking to myself like mm, should you use that <laughs> you know i don't know man dang I can't even really because like this ethnicity. There's even some people who say like half black people aren't truly black. Yeah. Because yeah. they can they they go into a different section or they're viewed as differently than quote unquote regular black people because like racial ambiguity is sort of seen as like a commodity. So because of the fact that they have one foot in one race and another foot in the other, then mm-hmm. they're not treated as black people. Therefore, they don't understand, like, they're not, they don't share in the same type of oppression that black people face, yeah. which I feel like is sort of unfair. Because to me, if you're black, you're black. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's going to change. That's all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because I see, like, J. Cole, for example, like, his. I think I think that it was his uh Ah crap, how am I forgetting this? I feel like his mom is white and his father is black. Hmm. Or it's the reverse. Crap. I should know this thing. I'm like a big fan. <laughs> like <laughs> huge fan. But now I'm mixing it up. I, I think that it's his mom that's white and then his father is black. Um but like and then you look at people like Tori Kelly, who his her father is Jewish. <laughs> and she looked white, <laughs> white. So, and she doesn't even like. She got soul. She got like enough soul in her. But like, I can't even really like. I'm like. I know that if she were to say it, I'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah. So, ah, uh, it's it's muddy. It's really muddy, and that's pro- like that's why like if this isn't an easy topic to to discuss. Like even dude six nine, his real name Daniel Hernandez. <laughs> that right now and his mother is from mexico and his father is from puerto rico so like it's like all right but then i do i i am cool with uh a lot of puerto ricans saying it and you know like mexican stuff like that Mm -hmm. but then i don't know there's also like some people who i guess because they just don't have they don't. They seem. They seem like they carry themselves as what we would see as white people. <sighs> like we're gonna <laughs> into the controversy over here, but that's. <laughs> I think is difficult. It's a, it's a very difficult question to answer 
mm-hmm. because I feel like then and you start getting into specifics of like, okay, this person can do it, but this person can't. And then I feel like we would have to have some sort of, I don't know, committee <laughs> in order to say like, okay, these are the restrictions and the guidelines for saying this word or whatever. People from Puerto Rican countries, like Caribbean countries can say it, but all those people in European countries, specifically the Spaniards, cannot say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or like Argentina and stuff like that. Y'all can't say it. Or, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like, it. how do you determine, okay, this person is definitely black? You would have to do like, basically like uh, an ancestry check to see whether or not somebody <laughs> could say it. And even then, some white people would be able to say it because they have black in their family. You know what I mean? So then it's just like, I think that would probably be the best devil's advocate I can provide (laughs) because that just makes it much more interesting. But if you had to fall on one side or the other, like if you had to say yes or no, Mm -hmm. which one would it be? As, As far as white passing Latinos or certain like biracial like white passing biracial people if you had to say a hard yes or no all right i think my answer would be if you would be counted as a slave you would go back into slavery times and you would be counted as a slave then you can say it but if you wouldn't be counted as a slave you wouldn't be quote unquote mistaken for a slave. Well, maybe not add that caveat, but maybe add that caveat. I don't know. But if you just <laughs> want to be a slave, then I feel like you don't have the right to say it. That's mm-hmm. that's that's my current thoughts. But again, just like, based on looks alone. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 